This is my presentation for Lab 3 from Physics 2211. The goal of this experiment was to analyze the motion and orbit of a planet around a black hole. From this data, the mass of the black hole was determined. In this lab, the importance of computer models when examining particular simulations was determined, and the relationship between net force and mass was examined. Overall, the final results displayed that the mass of the black hole was equal to 1.36 times 10 to the 34th kilograms. This lab has many fundamental concepts that are crucial to the understanding of the computer simulation. First, Newton's second law of motion is used throughout this lab. Newton's second law of motion is described using the following equation. Velocity final equals velocity initial plus net force divided by mass times delta t. Next, the force of gravity is very important. The force of gravity is the attractive force from the center of one body to the center of another body and is described using this equation. The force of gravity equals g times m1 times m2 divided by r squared. In order to properly complete this lab, I needed to assign the surroundings and system. In the computer model, the star is the system and the black hole is the surroundings. Finally, momentum is observed in the lab. Momentum describes the movement of a body and is calculated using P equals mass times velocity, which also equals net force times delta T. There are two important pieces of momentum, the parallel and perpendicular forces. The parallel forces are used to describe the changes in speed of an object, and the perpendicular forces are used to describe the changes in direction. When added together, the overall change in momentum is determined. This is the code I used for the computer model. I began by copying the starter code into GlowScript. From there, I made the changes necessary to properly construct the simulation. The arrows point to each of the changes I made. To start, I needed to change the seed line and replace it with my personal school email. By doing this, it ensures that the star has a unique trajectory. Next, I changed the mass to be equal to 2.0 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. I changed delta T to equal 86,400 seconds, which is equal to one day. Next, I had to update the equations. I started by updating the initial momentum and final momentum equations to be P initial equals mass of star times velocity initial and P final equals mass of star times velocity final. Then I updated the change in momentum and velocity equations to delta V equals V final minus V initial and delta P equals P final minus P initial. Next, I updated the momentum equations to solve for the magnitude. This magnitude was used to solve for the parallel component of momentum. Finally, using the parallel component and the overall change in momentum, the perpendicular component of the momentum was determined with the following equation. dpdt perpendicular equals dpdt minus dpdt parallel. This was the result after running the computer simulation. As you can see, the planet has a unique orbit around the black hole. The orange arrow represents the change in net force, the purple arrow represents the net force perpendicular, and the blue arrow represents the net force parallel. The simulations produced a series of different mass values. In order to determine the mass of the black hole, I used Excel to generate an average of all of the mass data values. The final mass of the black hole was determined to equal 1.36 times 10 to the 34th kilograms. The net force was determined to equal 9.59 times 10 to the 28th newtons. The parallel component of the net force was determined to equal 3.56 times 10 to the 28th newtons. And the perpendicular component of the net force was determined to equal 8.9 times 10 to the 28th newtons. Technically, the values for the perpendicular and parallel components for both the net force and the change in momentum are the same values. As you can see, the equation for the change in momentum is delta P equals M times delta V. In relation to force, the change in momentum equation is delta P equals force times delta T. The change in momentum is calculated using the change in velocity, while the net force is calculated using the equation of, for the force of gravity, which is F equals G times mass 1 times mass 2 over R squared. Finally, if the mass of the black hole were changed, but the location and the motion of the star remain the same, it would not be possible to determine the mass of the new black hole. This is because of the force of gravity equation. Since the other variables in the equation would not change, the new mass could not be determined.